morning and welcome to Patriot Times Live. I'm Destiny McNally along with the rest of our crew today and we have a special story for you today but first we're going to start with the pledge and then I'll pass it to Corinne for the announcements. Thank you Destiny and good morning Patriots. Please rise as we do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The junior class is selling Valentine's Day carnations and candy to be delivered to classes on February 14th. The price is $2 for one carnation and candy. The proceeds will go towards the Sears prom. Students in grades 7 through 12 can buy them during their lunch for student to student delivery. Any parents or guardians in grade K through six are welcome to purchase for their ch child. Two, please contact Ms. Bazo. And now for today's weather. This morning we have scattered snow showers with some light mix in isolated areas. Roads could be a bit slick thanks to the wet and sloppy snow for areas. Temperatures this morning are in the low to mid thirties with light winds. Morning commutes could be a bit slow this morning, so you will have, want to give yourself a bit of extra time. Today is looking cloudy with some light snow showers at times from this morning to this evening. Most of the snow showers today will be lingering light snow from the system moving through the morning, but lake effect snow will start to set up later this evening and tonight. Highs today will be in the lower to upper 30s with winds out of the northwest at 10 miles to 20 miles per hour. Any additional accumulations today should be around an inch. For tonight, lake effect snow will continue to set up across northern Michigan tonight. We will have overnight slow in 20s with winds out of the north northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. We could have a trace of 2 inches of accumulation in some areas as the lake effect starts to set up. On Friday, lake effect snow showers continue Friday with highs in the upper 20s to mid 30s. Wind will be a bit breezy out of the northwest. In sports, the varsity boys travel to Kalkaska today. And now back to Destiny for today's featured story. Thank you, Corinne. So today we're at the Richfield Township here in St. Helen. And I'm here today with Jimmy Van Warmer. How are you? I'm well. So please tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I've lived here for about 40 years. Uh, I'm married, I have two children, and one grandchild. Mm -hmm. Awesome. OK, so what are your responsibilities here at the township? I probably have the least amount of responsibilities as a supervisor. Uh, basically, my main jobs are to run the township meetings, uh, develop an annual budget. I am the chief assessing officer, uh, and I appoint boards and commissions. Okay, so what made you decide to choose this job as a career? I started in, my father started in township government back in the 80s, and I'm kind of following his footsteps. Oh, that's always nice. So, what do you enjoy most about the position? Working with people, trying to solve problems. That's nice. So, what do you dislike most about this position? Working with the people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit difficult trying to come up with problems, neighbor-neighbor uh, problems, uh, solving some of the issues that it could mm -hmm. So what would you say is your biggest passion to see accomplished in the township during your term? I would just love to see this community grow, become a bigger business community and, and have more people move here. Especially with new schools and stuff. Yes. So thank you very much for your time and now we go to Brianna for another interview. Thank you. Alright, thank you Destiny and I'm here with Julie Tetro, the township assessor. Hi Julie, how are you this morning? I'm just fine. How about yourself? Pretty good. All right, tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you married? Do you have kids? I am married. I have one daughter and I have three stepdaughters and I have six grandchildren. Oh my goodness. So you got a big family going. <laughs> All right, tell me about your responsibilities at the township. My main responsibility here at the township is to place valuation on each individual piece of property. Gotcha. Now what made you decide to choose this job as a career? Like the supervisor, my father actually started a company back in the 80s oh, wow. doing contract assessing for townships, and so I'm following in his footsteps. That's amazing. What do you enjoy most about this position? 
Um, I am kind of a math geek, and my job involves lots of math, and I love math. That's awesome. I do too. What did you dislike most about this? Um, I think I dislike most about my job is the fact that most people, when they come into my office to see me, they are unhappy because my job entails their valuation for property taxes and nobody likes to pay property taxes. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yep. And what do you say is the biggest passion of to accomplish during the Oh gosh. What would you say is the biggest passion to see accomplished in the township during your term? My biggest passion for my particular job is to place the fairest assessment on properties while deriving the largest amount of revenue for the township because property taxes are the main source of revenue that yep. fund the township. That is awesome. That's great to hear. And I thank you very much for your time. Thanks. All right, now we turn it to Haley for our next guest. Thank you, Brianna. I'm joined here with Casey Lacey, the township treasurer. Good morning. Good morning, honey. Uh, please tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I have been a teacher for 38 years, and I'm married, and I have three children and three grandchildren, and my granddaughter, Emma, goes to Charlton Heston with you guys. And now I'm the supervisor. I retired in June from teaching, and now I'm the supervisor. Or not the supervisor, I'm the treasurer. <laughs> Duh. Um, what are your Sorry. responsibilities at the township? I take care of the money. I take care of the taxes, and it's my responsibility to be frugal with the money, to invest the money wisely, and to um, make sure that money is spent wisely. Okay. Um, what? What made you decide to choose this job as a career? Well, in the 70s, my grandfather was the treasurer here, and um, I love teaching government. I love government. I love the Constitution, and um, that's why I wanted to do this. Uh, what do you enjoy most about the job? The people. Just being talking to the people and having them come in and talk to us about things and and um, opening our minds to different ways of looking at things. What do you dislike about the position? That sometimes, um, as a board, we have to make decisions that um, are difficult and that we can't always disclose to the public. And it makes it very difficult for us to um, help the public understand that we can't do that. Um, what's your biggest passion to see happen while, during your term? I would love to get um, the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th a sampling of the kids involved in student government over here working on how to solve, how to get ch the students and um, teenagers more involved in St. Helen and find positive ways to get kids more involved in their community and um, create a student government as a faction of our government. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, thank you very much for your time. Now to Derek. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I am joined with Frank Anthony of the Richfield Township Public Safety Department. Good morning, Officer Anthony. Good morning. What is your position with the Public Safety Department? I'm uh, currently serving as interim police chief. And what made you become involved in the police department? Um, it was probably a, a lack of satisfaction in uh, other lines of work and business. I wanted to do something that was more meaningful, productive. Yeah. I see you're called a public safety officer rather than a police officer. What is the difference? Uh, public safety here at Richfield, we combine uh, EMT, mm -hmm. um, which is emergency medical technician, provide the EMS service, and firefighter. So, whatever anybody calls for any different types of emergency services, we're on duty. We can we can handle that and start other sources if need be. Um, what do you enjoy most about your job? Um, probably helping people through 
the worst day of their life. Um, they don't know how to handle some things, whether it be different emergencies, helping them through it, even though it's routine for us, it may be the worst day of their life. So um, that gives a lot of satisfaction. That always makes us feel good. What is the hardest part of your job? Um, probably the same thing. You have to experience the worst day in one person's life or the worst day of their year, but we have to experience that every day. So it's, it's a lot of trauma day after day after day. So that, that gets to me a lot. Well, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. And thank you for tuning in. This is Patriot Times Live on location at the Richfield Township Hall. Have a great day and we will see you Monday.